Hi guys and welcome to The Batch Lady where I show you how to make fast, simple homemade meals that you can make in advance, put in your freezer and use whenever you want. If you want any of my recipes you'll get them at www.thebatchlady.com. This is a two minute top tip video. I'm going to be giving you lots of these coming up. So what I want to explain to you is very quickly in this top tip is when you are filling up your freezer bag and you've got your pot, okay, you really want to make sure that you try not to get stuff to drip down the side okay if you put these in the freezer damp or wet they end up like these and they sort of stick together so some of these are stuck together okay and when they're frozen solid they're really hard to unstick okay so you, you'll find that you go to take them out of the freezer and they're absolutely stuck if you pull them too hard you'll rip the bag so you want to make sure that you're using a good size um, measuring spoon when you're filling up your bags and you, that you're using something that can hold the bag open for you. Okay, so it gives you a bit more room. So um, these are bag holders and they're fantastic. Um, if you want to know where to find them, simply send me a message. I do sell them so I can let you know how you can go about buying them if you want. And um, you want to fill up the bag. If something does fill, spill down the side, once you seal it, just take a piece of dry kitchen roll, okay, and wash it off give it a good dry, make sure it is dry before you put it in the freezer. Okay, and my last tip for this is if you've made a lot of portions and you're putting them all in the freezer at the same time, it's not really good to stack them all up so, um, one ear can't get through to them, it's a lot harder for them to freeze. You're much better if you can put some in the fridge, put one in the freezer, give it an hour, then put the next one in the freezer, then put the next one and it's just giving it that a bit of time and um, that allows it to freeze itself rather than freezing in one clump these are now starting to come apart because I've left them for a bit but really you want to make sure and um, these are now going to be damp and now I'm going to and um, they're not going to be the best for sticking together okay hope you've enjoyed that top tip try to make sure that your bags are dry before they go in the freezer thanks for watching the batch lady bye